What's going on, Scorpio gang, gang, gang? Hope all is well with you guys. To my Scorpio kisses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Throw them gang signs up in the chat. Y'all know we go together real, real bad. No cap. I fuck with y'all the long way, you know that. To the Divine Nine, we joined at the hip. Ain't nothing can keep us from it. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for all the love and the extra support. You guys totally fucking rock. I'm sending you all the love and light and blessings and abundance. Wealth, healthy connections. Your heart can hold and your energy can match. I love you guys. I truly, truly mean that when I say that. All right, guys. This is a Scorpio affair. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. Anyway, you got Scorpio placements in your chart. Grab your boo, your hookah, your blunt, your spliff, your cat, your dog, whatever it takes. Your crystals to stay tapped into these energies like you always do around about this time, Scorpio. You should see an ad, let it play for a minute or so, so your girl can get all the credit from you too. Like a personal reading with me, you need to be a part of the members only community. All right, guys. So on October 23rd, that's my birthday. That's when Scorpio season starts. I will be having a little live snip party before I go where I'm going. All right. So we'll start over here on this live, but we're going over to the membership live. Once we go over to the membership live, that's it for Scorpio season. That's where most of my videos and everything going to get. I promise y'all that I love y'all guys so, so much. You had not joined that membership. Get over there and join that membership. Guys, we're going to have a good time that night. Um, yeah, nothing but Scorpio energy. I love you guys. So, let's get into the messages here. What's the messages for Scorpio? Something very significant about a Capricorn man here with Scorpio. And yeah, I was getting this. Somebody doing root work. This, whoever this Capricorn man is. <clears throat> this somebody you left alone, Scorpio. This this person is a this person is a when I hear when I see attic, I'm not I'm not hearing attic. I'm hearing like this person is very obsessed with you. And <clears throat> this person could be getting an attorney behind your back. This you could be married to this person. Trying to seek a divorce, but I feel like y'all are separated. Yeah, they doing shit for all to see, but they don't know that shit finna backfire on them. There's an open investigation on whoever this Capricorn man is. Yeah, whoever, whoever, they, they're getting exposed for all to see because they want to fuck with you. Yeah, literally is what I'm getting is what's going on. Whoever this Capricorn man is, don't have to be a Capricorn. Take it how it resonates. But that's the energy I was getting earlier, like somebody in your energy that's trying to like, they want to get rid of you for free. You understand what I'm trying to say? Whoever this Capricorn moon is that's doing this root work to you, they want they want it to seem like you lost your mind. They want everybody to seem, seem, everybody to seem as though you lost your mind. So that they don't have to give you something in this divorce. Or they trying to take your kids. I don't know what this is. Let's see. Yeah, whoever this is trying to make you seem like you got a mental problem or something like that. I'm getting that like he won't. He, okay, thank you. So a source is saying that this Capricorn moon wants you to look like an addict. They doing root work to make you look like you losing weight. Your hair falling out. Almost like they unaliving you here. You know, you could be somebody who like, you know, you forgetting a lot of shit. This this got to do with stuff like that, which shows something about your mind here, Scorpio, with this Capricorn. Whoever this Capricorn moon is, he's very evil. I, I, I'm getting this warlock again. And this is a masculine. They, they refuse to leave you alone. Whoever this person is, though, they're being investigated for something ain't even got to do with this. They ass going down. They're getting exposed. When I say if they got a company or whatever this is, their company going down to their job, whatever the fuck this is. Everybody going to see who the real loser is, and it's them. You're going to be vindicated, Scorpio. Wow. This your children's father, your ex-spouse. You could even still be with this person. They're doing group work. 
they're putting your name, you're, they're putting your name in water. They sh they're showing me your name like going down streams. This person trying to run you crazy, literally. This person don't want you to know whether you coming or going, Scorpio. It says you cut them off and they're still watching. I'm telling you. So for a lot of y'all, it's just like I said, y'all, this person, y'all separated. Y'all getting a divorce, y'all, or y'all done already divorced or something like that. This person gonna need an attorney. Definitely. Yeah, this person gonna have a freak accident, unexplained. Because of what they trying to do to you or them being on their way to do something to you. Mm-hmm. They they're so obsessed with you, they watch you enough. Now they wanna they wanna whoever this is, they're trying to come close to you now. Cause Scorpio, you just won't fucking die. You just won't fucking stop. You just won't fucking shut up. You you keep coming back. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. You keep going out, you keep zoning out, but you keep coming back. That's what this so this person they 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 trying to like this person coming towards you to to, to cause you harm, they're gonna have some type of freak accident. You you hear about it, Scorpio? That's what I just heard. You hear about it? <coughs> Cause you're protected from this person. This person can't come nowhere near you. Literally, it says causing you to lose your appetite. Didn't I say? Didn't I say that they doing this shit to make you lose weight? Your hair fall out, so you look like a fucking crackhead. And but then they see you again, and you look totally back, replenished again. Like literally doing this, man. This person going down. I'm sorry if this your children, father, whatever. Could be my children, father. I don't fucking know. But honey, I a sorry for the kids, but not for this motherfucker here. They need to go out, Scorpio energy. It says the person causing you this negativity is an air sign. What else? Wow. Unintentional. They don't realize they're sending you the evil, evil our words and actions. Yes, the fuck they do. Yes, they do. They wanna, act, they wanna throw a rock and hide their hand. They wanna act like it's unintentional. That shit, nah. Yeah, look, take a spiritual bath. Yeah, to get this root work off of you. All it takes is a spiritual bath. That's all it takes, because you keep coming back. They can't unalive you. All it takes is a spiritual bath, Scorpio. Just take your little spiritual wipe off. You ain't even, just take your little spiritual cowgirl bath. They don't, you ain't even really got to dip in the water, who I'm talking to. Like, literally, this shit weak as hell. And this person finna get exposed for all to see. And they could be going to jail. This could be spiritual jail, but I'm getting both. Literally. <clears throat> It says dark entities are using these people to work against you. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. And they're about to be exposed for all to fucking see. And you're being vindicated. On the bottom of the deck, unexplained body welts, bru bruises, and scratches. These people are astro traveling, trying to meet you in your dream state and trying to pull you down. That's why you got all them scratches on you. They trying to pull you down. But see, what they don't know is... The only reason you ain't whelped and scratched up even worse is because they don't have to pull you down. Your gravitational level of, of, of energy is you could go either way. Down is where you can really go. Up is where you're trying to go to. That's where you're trying to integrate. These people can't ho keep a hold of you. That's what this is. They can't hold captive your energy. They're not powerful enough. Like, literally, you're not powerful enough. Stop trying. That don't mean try fucking harder. Crosswatch or whoever you are that's trying to... I, I don't know. What, what What is it you want from Scorpio? You want a Scorpio that just is a yes man? A woman? It's not going to fucking happen. I'll let you know that now. You can go ahead and can it, bag it up, ship it up, whatever. Like, literally. You would not get no AI with Scorpio, no robotic-ass love. Like, who the fuck? <sighs> Give me some more energy on this Capricorn moon, man. What's the messages here? This person gonna have a freak fucking accident. Like, literally, they, and they already going through shit in their regular, normal life from being low down and dirty, and they still do it. They still find time, God saying, <laughs> to root work you. Out of all the shit they got coming at them in their regular, normal life of just life lifing. Lord, Lord is saying they still got time to get home and write your name on pieces of paper and have mock funerals about you and 
all this weird ass shit. They they still find time to do that. For some of y'all, this this Capricorn could be an attorney. That's addicted to you. Addicted to you not, I don't know, leaving them or coming back to, I don't know what this person trying to do. All I know is they want they want control of your power and they can't have it. Like you ain't getting that shit up. You different now. That's the reason for the split. This person no longer able to control Scorpio. Yeah, look, and you manifested this out. You manifested this out. You manifested this person being exposed for whoever they are. You got tired of hiding their fucking character this whole time you've been with them. Yeah, I just feel like that. I feel like, too, that Capricorn moon is just, signif is just signifying to us the, the magnitude of how nasty this person was to you. They was the, they was the straight up fucking devil, whoever this person was. Yeah, I sound a fucking nod. They were the devil. I'm getting Sagittarius. Yeah, they, they never stop watching you ever. These are the monitoring spirits. I'm telling y'all, a lot of y'all Scorpios, y'all, y'all married, our spouses were sent to us by dark entities. And sometimes they were sent to us by God, even though they were dark. Listen, who am I talking to? I ain't gonna hold you right there, but I'm just saying, didn't I say that? And they come in and whatever dark it is that, that attracted them to you, you no longer have that dark because you're consistently changing, Scorpio. Every season. You, it's almost to me they're showing me like you are a part of the universe literally. When, when, when winter come, whatever happened in nature in wintertime, they shed and all this, whatever, that's what's happening to you. When springtime come, you come back up like this. In other words, what people do with this witchcraft, it don't affect you because you keep changing seasonally. Like you're supposed to. You keep adapting to what you're supposed to adapt to and let go of what you're supposed to. Like that's a part of you. That's a part of you naturally. So snoop on. It's like these people driving by your house. That's why they're going to have a free accident. They get readings on you and shit. Trying to access your Akashic records. And God saying, look at this, look at this angel, this earth angel. They some while they want is peace. They ain't trying to hurt nobody. You trying to run this person crazy and unalive them at the same time. And all Scorpio over here doing is trying to manifest like thoughts that become reality. <laughs> These are people that been sent to you, Scorpio. Yeah, look, unfinished business. This person think that they're going to be able to take you over, overtake you. That's what I heard. They think they're going to be able to overtake you by giving you a lame ass proposal or telling you they forgive you. They're offering you forgiveness for reconciliation. I knew this person wanted to get back. This somebody you love. This somebody you couldn't take it no fucking more. And now here they come back with the stupid shit that they used to get you in the first place and you just not, you not having it. Yeah, you decluttering. See, one thing about Scorpio, you ain't going to hear Scorpio two years down the road talking about the same thing. You know, Daryl, I caught him cheating again. I caught, I caught Susan cheating. You, it, it's just not going to happen. You might hear Scorpio say that shit one or two times that year. But the next year, if that shit happened, you won't hear Scorpio saying, Daryl cheating on me again. You'll just see Scorpio gone. Then disappeared. Like, literally. You're holding back. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This person being sneaky, they 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 throwing a rock and hiding their hand. This person is trying to make you believe one thing, but something else going on behind the scenes. And they're very overwhelmed at this time. I'm telling you, this person going through shit in their real life. They going through a lot of shit in their real life, but they choose to witchcraft you. And I feel like that's, that's going to be their demise. Like, literally. Yeah, look, overall ended on the bottom of the deck, avoidance. These people can't get to you anymore. Whoever this Capricorn moon is, this root work, all this shit. Source, source tell me that when I give y'all these readings and when you receive them in your heart, and if this is your story, the witchcraft broke right then. Just you knowing that this is going on in your energy, is it's going to break it. Just like I said, you ain't even got to take a whole spiritual bath because that's what Source said. Source said you can just take a little wipe off, get you a little floor of the water. When you get out the shower and just wipe yourself down with it. That's what I just heard. Because they ain't powerful enough. They want, it's your power they want. 
They want to silence you. They want you to, they want to be able to control you like a puppet. I keep getting that. It's not going to happen. That'll never happen. Scorpio transformed too much literally in just our natural essence. Just what God did, like literally. That's why you got so many, you got Scorpios, you could have seen them street walking last year. Crank the fuck out. And this year they riding in a Bentley and won't even smoke a cigarette or touch alcohol. Like that's the extreme of a Scorpio. That's how much we change without us even doing shit. Like literally, whoever these people are, they trying to take hold of your power and they can't. They losing their grip. Whoever I'm speaking to, this energy is losing its grip now. And all of it is coming back to haunt his ass. This bitch need four, five lawyers. He need a dream team. You got a spirit team, but he need a dream team to get him out this shit. And I told y'all in previous readings, whoever this person is, they been stopping you from having any kind of love life. Clarify this Capricorn moon. Yeah. The queen of cups in reverse. I'm telling you, this, this person, they want to unalive you, Scorpio. They don't want you to be in control of your emotions. They don't. They want to be in control of your emotions. They want to. They want you to see how hands are up. That's giving puppet like puppet strings. Like they want to. They want you to be different. And it's just like, nah, I can't. I can't do that one. <laughs> like I can't. It just won't happen. You may be able to do it for a second, but after that, it's over with. The emperor. Because another season coming, Scorpio changing again, literally, trying to integrate with their higher self. And they go your energy. That's a manifestation in the Capricorn moon. Whoever this Capricorn moon is, they don't want you with a divine masculine. And that's their that's they main thing with their root work because they know you're very intelligent. They know you're very conversational. They know that people are drawn to you. So when people are drawn to you, they want the people to think after they talk to you, there's something wrong with you and they keep on going. Or that you're able to get them, but you can't keep them. Type energy. What else on this Capricorn moon? Yeah, look. The Queen of Wands in reverse. I'm telling you, this is what this person do. All the queens showing up in the reverse. That's what this That's what this warlock bitch do. This somebody. So this emperor is somebody. Ex-husband. Boyfriend. Baby daddy. I'm telling you. He's something wrong with him. Something wrong with him. <laughs> His main mission is just to like steal women power and energy and leave. And all you want is peace. This person keeping you from marriage and, and love and happiness. Look, the three of cups in reverse. Meanwhile, they in all these third party situations with all these women. Yeah, look, the strength coming out in the reverse. I'm telling you, this, a high, this, a, this was a high ranking warlock. They saying Capricorn. Okay, I've been saying Scorpio. And this a masculine. That's who I'm getting here. Clarify this root word. I'm telling you, this root word, it, 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 it was doing. It was root working. <clears throat> Literally, the, the queen of cups in reverse, queen of wands in reverse, three of cups in reverse, reverse. Strength in the reverse. You ain't celebrating shit. You feel weak. You feeling, you know, losing your weight, losing the appetite. This first, this, this. Like you ain't got nothing, nothing in your life going on. You feel like this person, you could have, this person could have wanted you to kill yourself, kill yourself. Like literally, I'm hearing that with the mock funerals and shit. This one, yeah, look, the timber is coming out in reverse on peace. This person wanted you to lose your mind. I guess that was, I don't know what they was gonna put you somewhere, Scorpio. Some, for some of y'all, I feel like this person wanted y'all back, and ain't no one a snowball chance in hell, but some root work could have got you back. And for some of y'all, this, 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 it's like this person wants you to be crazy so they can put you in an asylum somewhere. For any of this shit happening, this bitch going to prison. Or, or, or going to have a freak accident and be dead. Yeah, look, the fool card. See, that's that transformation and rebirth. It don't matter what. When you start putting Scorpio through this amount of hell, you may do it for a season. But when the, when the leaves change out there on the trees... Don't expect Scorpio to be the same person that you left. They're not going to be that. You have to kill. Oh, and that's what they keep doing. They keep trying harder with this spell word. And fucking their own life up. That's what they're doing. Yeah, look. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse is not going to work on Scorpio. Because Scorpio somewhat minding their own fucking business. Not even thinking about you. 
and you still holding on to whatever this is, it's not going to work. Scorpio, keep leaping. Keep leaping. Keep quantum leaping. Y'all can't catch us. We ain't in the same place. The king of wands. Look at all the men showing up upright. I'm telling you, this, this is giving me like a real evil ass warlock dude, dude. I'm talking about somebody with money. Somebody with businesses. Somebody who got power. Like in the 3D. Lawyers and shit. Money. Attorney. You know, just did you any kind of way with your children and shit. Because you didn't have the money. You probably was a stay at home mom or some shit. Like, I'm really getting this. This person tried to destroy you because they wanted your children or they wanted your power or, or, or something like that. Clarify at it. Yo, look, the Knight of Cups. This somebody who courted you, spoiled you, you know, did all this shit to get you and then turned rogue on your ass. Yo, look, the Eight of Swords in reverse. This person, this person is really. This person really wants you to feel like you, you you don't know whether you're coming or going. That's what that Eight of Swords in Reverse is giving me. This ain't you having yourself in no self-imposed prison. You know what time it is. This this person trying to control your mind. Like, literally. And they've been doing it. For some of y'all, dog, y'all are being set free right now. I'm telling y'all, with, with, with Scorpio season... Yeah, they saying, sources say any season, autumn, fall, Scorpio season, Scorpio moon. When Scorpio see that the moment Scorpio season come in under the moon, <laughs> all this shit broke anyway. And, and, and then it's like judgment begins with these people. All the family members you had to leave behind. Yeah, God say and, and fast too. God say expediently. Eight, eight, eight. I've been seeing that number everywhere. <laughs> I'm here expediently, and I'm here just as just as fast as this karma is hitting them. Your karma hitting you too, and it's good karma. Like literally, what's this um attorney? Yeah, look, the six of pentacles coming out in the reverse. Whoever these attorneys are, they being exposed to. They were stealing from his ass, stealing from him, mm -hmm, getting all the money he didn't want you to have, and there you go expanding with the three of wands. Whoever this person is, they're going to jail. Yeah, they go into the feds. I don't know why I got that when I saw the Six of Pentacles in reverse with the Three of Wands. I feel like they traveling a long way to go to prison. Like, that's what I'm getting with this. Like, far, far away from you two is what I'm getting. Yeah, I'm getting that energy too. Like, you far, far away from whoever this person is. They're being exposed. Everybody gonna know the undercut shit that they was doing. Yeah, look, the five of swords in reverse. I'm here to return back to Cinder. All that mind, mind fuckery they did to you, now they sitting in prison worse. And I feel like whoever this person is, somebody going to die in a freak accident and somebody is going to run themselves crazy. Like, they're going to literally, that crazy jail they wanted you in, in your mind, that's what's about to happen to them. On the bottom of the deck, yeah, the seven of cups in reverse. I feel like the more clear it becomes to this person, the hole that they dug, Cause this is somebody who's very arrogant. Y'all got to understand, this person literally think they gonna come back from this. They literally think, you know, who cause who can expose them doing witchcraft on you? Oh well, that but see your real life shit being exposed. And God see everything. So next question. <laughs> it's literally simple like that. Like this person is going through judgment. They finna go through hell and high water for what they did. This root work they did on you. They're done. What's the additional energy here? It's like two with the seven of cups in reverse overall energy for them for this person. I'm here now. They get to make no decisions for themselves. You see what I'm saying? The same thing they wanted for you, they wanted to control you, but this is gonna be the prison system. <clears throat> Controlling their ass, telling them when to eat, when to sleep, when to get up, when to have break time. Like they're gonna be controlled. Like, for the rest of their life, 24-7. Not you. What's the energy with this person? <coughs> this person going to prison. Yeah. Now they feeling like shit. Can't eat nothing. Can't keep nothing down on their stomach. They in prison on, on suicide fucking watch. Yeah. Having massive regrets. Now the root work. God showing them what they did. Y'all, that life review is God showing you what you done did that you think you ain't done. That's why I say them holy rollers, they know they ain't holy rollers. Because you get to some point in your life where God show you what you really doing and how you really manipulating energy. 
even if you're doing it unintentionally. See, that's why I believe that's there, because I feel like this person stumbled up on this shit unintentionally. Fucking with one of these warlock ass women that he fucking with. And trying to do the same shit to them. Them folks trying to get his ass too. And here you are just like, he got you so confused in your mind with this root word. People thinking you going crazy, but then the season come in and you back to normal. Your weight back up. You looking yourself again. But then boom, it hit you again. Now people thinking you street walking. And, nah, that's this bitch. Now they feeling that shit. And you free, Scorpio. Yeah, look. Didn't I say the karma coming? There go right there. Karma, Dharma, all of it. They was on the they on the wrong side of karma. Trust me. They finna have the five summer of they fucking like this person. And if they make it to prison, oh what they gonna do to them there, I heard. Yo, karmic ties. <laughs> this shit, this person didn't want y'all y'all shit to end. I'm telling you, so if this was a karmic tie, then this was somebody God put in you you put you were put in that life for them to change. To get them an opportunity to do what's right. This person went full throttle on the queen. This queen bee is giving me earth angel. Divine being, high priestess. And here this person is toxic as fuck. They just live a toxic lifestyle. This person just, they drinking themselves almost a day. I'm telling you, this somebody who ain't never had shit that ended up with some shit. And when they ended up with it, they turned to the evil, wicked ass person that God already knew they were. And they, and they was just buying time. God sent some good ass energy to alchemize whoever this Capricorn moon is. And you couldn't alchemize it. You been in their life and them not being able to affect who you are because you don't belong to their ass. You belong to God. This person just started getting darker and darker and darker. And God was looking for this person to be more compassionate, more lighter, less toxic. <laughs> I'm telling you, you married this person. They were sent to you. Y'all was locked in. Y'all not locked in no more. As of this reading, y'all are, are done. This person reaching for straws. They getting readings on you. They want to know about your Akashic records. Because I feel like whoever this is, they know what to do with your Akashic records. This is a love-hate relationship. When this person get drunk and how they crying about you one minute, cussing your ass out the next minute. Because they can't get you. They just can't. It's over with. You had your chance. It's over. Get the fuck on. Yeah, move on. Move on. That's what you did, Scorpio. This person refused to move on. Now, they don't have a choice. Through death or prison, one, one way or the other. Sweet talking ain't going to get it this time. I'm telling you, there's somebody who deep in their ego, they don't even know that. They, they, they feel like their money or their attorneys can get them out of whatever this is. Mm -hmm. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Your baby daddy, your ex-husband. The one who buy everybody with their money. Him. Money ain't going to do you no good. What did I say? I'm telling you, this bitch is a this bitch is a divine a dark war, divine masculine. He's showing up twice as the ill brand. He's showing up right here. What part of this shit y'all don't get? He dark as fuck. He got all the money. He look just like a divine masculine. He got the money, the dress. He looked like it. He got the attorneys, the cars, the businesses. This bitch is a warlock, literally trying to take you out, Scorpio. Ben, trying to take you out. Yeah, fed up. But see, what I see when I saw that was the feds. Like I said earlier, this person going far away to prison. This person got some more shit going on. Happily single, coming out in the reverse. Yeah, they, they, you think they going crazy. You think you going crazy. This person, when this person really realized I'm not getting out, <laughs> like I'm here to whenever the judge say I'm here and Scorpio is out there happily single. Or caught up with somebody quick. Like, this person, the worst thing they want you to be is happily single. And they definitely don't want you to be happily married. And all this shit going on while they in jail and can't do nothing about it. And it's going to literally drive them crazy. For, for whoever this is who tired of snooping. And they coming towards you real in this, in this Knight of Swords type energy. This bitch going to have a freak accident. They've been driving by your house and around your house plenty of times. But it's going to be this time that they ass don't make it back home. Yeah, look. Didn't I just say that? Massive regrets. They won't make it back home. 
Why? Because they're coming for your spiritual gifts. They're actually coming to unalive you like God ain't finna have that. And they're and they going to they go have this free accident. That's what's going on. Yeah, look. Ashamed in the reverse. This person ain't ashamed. I keep telling y'all, this person got a, the ego of biggest uh, Mount Rushmore. This somebody who the judge gonna hit the gavel and tell him you got 25, 30 years and he gonna sit there thinking still his money gonna get him out of this shit. Like that was just round one. Just like he did with you. And God finna take all his money and every fucking thing. Just like he, like, like how, how, how you not being fucked up told him to try harder. That's what him not, him losing the case is gonna tell him get another attorney, pay more money. Strategize this way with it. Strat try harder with it. And by, by the time he get done, all resources gone. This person gonna be a fucking clown. And they ain't gonna even be ashamed. They ain't gonna even be ashamed. They gonna still think they got a way to come out of this shit. And they just not. Alright, Scorpio gang, gang, gang. If you still with me, like, share, subscribe, join that membership. 10 o'clock on October 23rd, Wednesday night, we will be celebrating my birthday party, Scorpio's birthday party, Scorpio season coming in. So we'll be on live, this live on the other side for a little while. But when we cut cake and cut up and y'all meet my family and all that, we'll be on the membership side. All right, guys, I love you so, so much. I'll see you in the next video.